The project started in September of 2010. Uh, that was when we first got initial uh, funds to start studying the concept and see what we should do, what we could do, um, what would be the most valuable thing to do. We, we were in formulation for a couple years to understand what were the best technologies to test. Uh, we got confirmation in December of 2012. That's when we really got fired up with the implementation, started putting together, buying the hardware, putting together the hardware, getting it all built up. So it took us a good year and a half to get to the point where we could actually conduct the flight with the, with the systems we put together. As soon as we started th sending things into space, we started trying to figure out how to bring them back safely. Uh, one of the early concepts were inflatable drag devices, and so those go back to the 1960s. Uh, supersonic parachutes themselves even go back to the 1960s. The specific incarnation of the inflatable drag devices that we were testing were really things developed uh, more recently uh, here at JPL and across NASA with the, the LDST team. I mean, this flight was, was really just a shakeout flight. Uh, we got to, to put the technologies on this vehicle a year ahead of schedule and see how they performed. Uh, the science performed amazing, phenomenal from all the data. Uh, and we can now say that it's a device that's mature enough to be used at Mars. Uh, we got early data on the parachute, and we can apply that data to the real tests, which will be next year. There will be missions that to put larger rovers on Mars to do more in situ investigation, missions to potentially go collect rocks, missions to try and launch them from the surface of Mars. And so those are going to require larger and larger vehicles. Eventually we want to get to be able to, as Jeff was talking about, land people on Mars. We're going to want to put two-story condominiums on the surface of Mars. Um, and that gets really big and really hard. And so really this is uh, like the second step of a 12-step program to get to the point where we can put very, very large things on Mars. So there's a lot of things we're going to have to do between now and when we put people on Mars and we're, we're just getting started now with these kinds of technologies.